You're gonna stress me out. Right, behave. Welcome back. Or, if you are new, welcome. Now, I have one of those sunset lamps. I thought it would be cute for the background of a video, but I haven't quite worked out how to make it look good. <laughs> so at the moment, it's just sitting there and there's a shadow where I am. I know I should probably move forwards, but I've already done my setup, so I'm not about to move it all again. I'll work it out at some point, I promise, but I mean, for right now. <laughs> See? Look how cool it is. Is that too bright for the camera? Is that too bright for you? <laughs> it would add something cool to the background of the videos, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, now it's on my face. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Work. I don't like that there's my reflection there, but... Excuse the shadow. We'll forget it's there. Okay? If you haven't already hit subscribe come on now thank you for today's video i wanted to do another kylie jenner look <clears throat> i wanted to do another kylie jenner look because i did one i want to say about a month ago maybe a month and a half and it was a like king kylie type of makeup look now i want to do her modern day everyday kind of look because let's be honest she's absolutely flawless and you can never get too much kylie jenner do you know what i mean so here i am giving it to you you don't need to thank me Anywho, first off, I'm gonna clip my hair back. I've got some of these bad boys. Just because, first of all, oh, oh, oh loving the hair. Fantastic. She wears clips when she's having her makeup done, but also there's gonna be some beat going on here. So, I mean, we need, we need as much room as possible. So we're gonna clip the hair back. Now my hair's flat to my head, more than usual. So, um, okay, we've gone for just two. <laughs> I've already prepped my base, like I've put moisturiser on and then my serum. Now we're going to prime. Oh, I haven't even showed you. Hang on, Nick. Back up. I haven't even showed you what looks we're going for. So this is the look. We're also, like, we're going to mix up. Like, there's a few. Like, I like her base in some of these, but then I also love the smoky eyes in, like, this one. So. Oh, wait. We're not going to go face first. Nick, get yourself together. Calm down. We're gonna use some summer tape because she has a very perfect wing. I cannot achieve that without the help of cello tape. Why did I say that so weird? Cello tape. We're gonna take one, place it down. The hardest part about doing this is trying to get them even. Okay. Oh, I nearly cut my eyeball in half. Okay, first up, we're gonna take this Dior palette because it's got this little cream base in it. I'm gonna take a little bit. We're gonna prep the eyelids for what is about to go down. What was that accent? Sure. I'm gonna take this, take a loose powder. I'm gonna take the RCMA no color powder. Oh, that went everywhere. Thank you so much. I'm gonna set the eyelids so we don't get any more blotchiness. Any more? Jesus, we haven't even started yet and I'm already doubting myself. Screw the lid back on so there's no accidents. Now, I'm kind of glad that we're doing eyes first because it kind of gets the, the nervousness out of the way, doesn't it? I've got it on my laptop, by the way. So if you see me looking down here. Okay, very matte look. We're gonna use the, oh, gonna use the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm gonna use this brush. We're gonna go in two. I'm gonna take all five of these. I don't know why I always take all five. It's just, it's just a thing now. Get my mirror out. <laughs> We're gonna put this above the crease everywhere and kind of wing it out back here I'm gonna blend it up into the eyebrows as well now we're gonna take this brush here it's like a smaller fluffy brush we're gonna go into this shade here and we're gonna put it all over the lid okay now we're gonna stick with the same brush and we're gonna go into this color here and put this on the outer two thirds of the eye now we're gonna go into this color here and put it just by here on the outer part and like wing it out now that we've got it like everything where it needs to be we're gonna take whatever's left on the brush we're going to kind of bring it in at a diagonal down here so it's not so like light, medium, dark. Like it's all just blending together nicely. Now we're going to go in with an angled brush and we're going to go into, oh, there's a hair, sorry. We're going to go into the black colour and we're going to add a line right where the tape is, which has it quite far back. And we're going to bring it back to about here. So I'd say when you're looking forwards, where this starts, and you're looking forwards up to about there. That's how I like to judge it. I'm not going to worry too much about making it look too perfect because we are going to smoke it out. Okay, now we're going to take this dark brown by here on a little like pencil brush and we're going to just smoke out the edges of this liner. Now we're going to go back in. Rude. 
And we're gonna go back in with this brush and we're gonna go into this color again. And we're gonna go back over the edges of these and just smoke it out up here. Oh my God, do you mind? These are so uneven, like it's, it's hurting my feelings. But we're gonna take off the tape. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> that one's a bit droopy, but whatever. <laughs> so on my eyes. Okay, now that eyeshadow is on, kind of sorted out the wonkiness, not 100%, but I'm hoping lashes will help. First, we're gonna curl the lashes. And we're gonna put on some Maybelline Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. I'm not gonna worry about putting too much on just yet, just just like to coat them a little bit before we put lashes on. Now we're gonna put some false eyelashes on. I've got these ones from that brand. I got them on Amazon. They're half lashes, so I thought this would go very well because she looks like she just has eyelashes on the outer parts of the eye. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use the Real False Lashes Invisible Lash Glue from Benefit for the lashes. Okay, whilst we're waiting for the lashes to go tacky before we put them on, we're gonna prep the base. So we're gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer <laughs> because she's very matte. Now we're gonna try and attempt to put these lashes on. Hopefully it won't take me an entire working day to put them on, but we'll see. I'm just gonna put them on the outer parts of the eye, kind of coming off the eye a little bit, like where the wing kind of goes to elongate the eye. But, but. I can never pick them up without them sticking to literally every, oh my God, mm. get off please. You're gonna stress me out. All the glue is coming up. <laughs> I'm covered in glue, absolutely covered, right. Behave. Oh, see, now all the glue's come off it. Honest to God. I'm gonna have to re-glue this one. Where's the glue? <sighs> I'm getting stressed. Okay, we kind of got there, eventually. Now we're gonna do some foundation. We're gonna go in with the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation and the Stay Naked Urban Decay Weightless Liquid Foundation in the shade 11NN, and this one is in the shade 21 Nude. I'm gonna give them a bit of a mix. These are both very full coverage foundations, but we need it say the least. I'm gonna mix it and dot it on. I say dot it as I continue to swipe. Anyways, because I want to keep a lot of the coverage, I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out first. And I'm gonna go over it with a sponge to make sure everything's blended. Okay, now it is concealer time. We are gonna use the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I read that upside down. Jealous, should be. I'm gonna go in with the shade light beige first. I'm gonna put it over my dark spots. Okay, now we're gonna go in the shade Fair Warm, which is just more of a lighter color. And we're gonna put it on the under eyes. Usually I wouldn't put it like like that, but she's very, very bright on the under eyes. So we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go in, put it in the T-zone as well to highlight. Okay, and we're gonna go in with the brush first to blend it out. Okay, now we're gonna set the under eyes. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I forgot to give it a shake. Gonna go in with our little poofy pad. Gonna press it under the eyes. Now for the rest of the face, we're gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder and we're gonna use it to set it. Okay, now I'm gonna contour my nose. I've got two brushes I like to use. I'm just gonna contour my nose how I would normally contour my nose because I ain't achieving that. We're gonna do two lines down the side of the nose. I'm gonna go back in with my poofy thing. Take some of my, of my powder and go down the edges of the nose. Now let's do some on the tip and through the middle. Next, I'm gonna take a little brush like this. We're gonna contour the jawline. We need to be looking all kinds of snatched. <laughs> okay, she doesn't look too bronzed, but she's definitely still got some bronzer on. So we're gonna use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer on a little angled brush. Gonna make sure we definitely get the forehead. We're gonna keep it towards the bottom of our cheekbones. Usually I put it up higher to lift, but I mean, she puts a lot of blush there. If you want the bronzer to peek through, then we're gonna have to put it a bit lower. Put some under the nose and under the chin. I'm just gonna take a spoolie, brush through my brows. I can hear my dog snoring from here and he's downstairs. Now we're gonna fill in our eyebrows. We're gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 4.5. And she has very like filled in structured eyebrows. So we're gonna attempt it without looking like I've got slugs on my forehead. I like to take my spoolie and brush up the front part to 
blend out the, the line that I drew underneath. Then we're gonna go in with some Got To Be Glue brow gel and we're just gonna brush them into place. Okay, we're gonna go back to the eyes for a second and we're gonna add, I'm gonna take this brush here, get a bit of this one and run it very close to the lash line on the bottom. I'm gonna use this e.l.f. eyeliner pencil. It's black, so we're gonna we're gonna go light with it. But we're gonna take our sponge and put a little bit in the waterline. Okay, now she is blushed, to say the least. So we're gonna go in with this e.l.f. palette. We're gonna take a mixture between this one and this one, and we're gonna put it over the entire cheek area. Gonna need to go in with a little bit more than that, Nick. I'm going to take whatever's left on the brush and just dust it over the chin. We're going to take our poofy thing and we're going to run some powder underneath here, just a little bit, and a bit coming from the mouth whilst that is doing its thing. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and we're going to dust off this nose powder. Okay, she looks like she has the smallest amount of highlight down the centre of her nose. So I'm going to take this Morphe palette and I'm going to go in between this colour and this colour. Really tap it off. I'm gonna do a little bit here and then some down the centre and between the brows. I'm gonna dust off this break now. And I know this is kind of weird because we've just put powder there to like, but I don't like how bright it is. So I take my bronzer brush and whatever's left on it and I just run it over right here. It doesn't add much colour, it just takes away all like the intensity of the like the brightness. Do you know what I mean? Now I think it's lips time. Okay, for lips, I've got this lip liner from Primark in the shade Toffee. I'm only going to take this dark one on the middle of the lips and then we'll do the rest of the overlining with a lighter colour. Don't know if I mentioned we're really overlining. You know how it is. Now we're going to take the lip liner from Barry M in Toast and we're going to go over this line and bring it in on the lips a little bit more to like blend it in and use this one to, oh, went out of the lines a little bit. <laughs> and use that to line all the way up. The lips. Now I'm using this lip liner from Primark. It's more of like a pinky colour. I'm filling in the centre of the lips. Okay, now to set the face, I'm gonna use the MAC Matte Fix Plus and we're gonna give our face a little spritz. Oh, <laughs> if it wants to work. <sighs> and that is that. I am matte. Usually I'm like, look how glowy I am. And now today I'm like, I'm matte. I'm kind of feeling this this blushed up look. I, I am a fan. Kylie, you know what you're doing. That's not news to us, but I mean, but yeah, oh, <laughs> back here again, looking a bit more, a bit more put together this time. Let's put it in front of me. See what I look like. Oh dear Lord. That looks like a horror story. We'd love to see. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's still on me, hun. This is the finished makeup look. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and more. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.